It's worse than we feared. The stuff in a beard. A Swiss study, they have them there, <laughs> looked at the amount of bacteria in men's beards compared to dog fur. There's a study. <laughs> they found that 39% of beard samples had harmful bacteria compared to only 13% on the pooch. The study concluded, quote, bearded men harbor significantly higher burden of microbes and more human pathogenic strains than dogs. They're right. It's time we took a deep dive inside the beard. Thanks to advances in science, we can now see the incredible micro ecosystem living in men's beards, filled with things never before seen by the naked eye, including the least attractive Kardashian sibling, Cletus Kardashian, a weightlifting puppy, a chubby skeleton, a clock that sounds like Rachel Maddow, <laughs> ducks and tiny cowboy hats, a dude who looks like Gilbert Gottfried but sounds like Barry White. After the day of my voice changed and hair started going on, my friend. A broccoli-flavored bottle of Gatorade and Puck from the real world. Beards, it's a whole new world in there. Wow. I don't believe it. All right. Tyrus, uh, you have a beard. Are you going to yeah. shave it after hearing these results? Uh, no. no. No, I'm not because uh, I wash it. <laughs> so, Stop yeah, like, bragging. yeah, I know it's a real skill set. In the morning, when I get up and take a shower, uh, I I wash my face and my hands, and then I wash my beard. And they even give you like soaps and shampoos and stuff. It's just for your beard, like beard butter and stuff. So you know, whatever. Yeah. And I, you know what? If I could lick myself whenever I wanted to clean myself, and it was not frowned upon socially, I'd do it too. So it's not fair to comp dogs immediately if something hits them they go to work if i could oh sh and you know no one would tripping on me that's, so. a, that's a good point there uh joe the reality is and i know that you're scared of everything in life you're terrified now um there is bacteria everywhere i mean you think beards are bad but the phone is worse you don't leave your beard on the toilet uh, uh, the bathroom floor of a public toilet but everybody does or my phone what? Don't leave your phone on the bathroom floor of a public. Toilet. Everybody does. <laughs> no, because most of us Only can't you. reach. Oh, wait, wait he can. We, we could settle this. How many people in this audience do that? Nobody raised their hand, Greg. <laughs> Joe, answer the question. I don't even know what the question was, but I demand you answer it. The, the question was, are you on the way to a staph infection? That's <laughs> the question. <laughs> Greg, you leave your phone on the bathroom floor. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't understand why scientists were doing this study to begin with are, are people saying hey what's dirtier men's beards or dogs let's settle that bet and make college tuition more expensive for everybody by doing that research but as a person who can't really grow any kind of a beard yes Look at i think we should continue this research further and i'll tell you what ladies no disgusting bacteria here yes It's one of the pluses of being made by a toy maker. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, <d> <laughs> Oh, damn you, Greg Gutfeld. <laughs> I didn't even know why I said that. Oh, wow. You just, called, you just that? called him Chubby <laughs> Pinocchio. You mean, man. You Geppetto mean. Geppetto did a good yeah, job. Nice. Um, go, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 I should talk. Rob, um, you shaved your beard. I did. I shaved Do my you feel beard. better? Uh, I, I shaved my beard because it was it was entirely white. Mm. And you don't um, want to be Santa. I, I don't uh, I, I don't want to be old. Yes. Um, and I am th that, so yeah. I thought I'd shave it off. Uh, but I have a do I have a dog. Yes. And so I think that I mean I think it all depends on where they took the sample from. <laughs> yes. Because I can think of places on my dog. Yeah. That are considerably dirtier than any. Beard. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, I guess depending on where you where of the beard where it puts their beard. But the irony is, the cleanest part of the dog is not where you want to. Well, <laughs> cat. Yes, Greg. Does it matter? I mean, do you do you think lumberjacks sit around and worry about the bacteria in their beards? I mean, no. they're going to get hit by a tree. No, I I mean beard bacteria. We are really worried about beard bacteria. I once shared a toothbrush with my boyfriend <laughs> for an entire semester of college. Ugh. And I'm not dead! <laughs>
but he died. I, so I, no, he's still alive. I spent a really long time trying to figure out why we were doing this story. Yes. Mm -hmm, and then did. I realized. Mm -hmm, tell him. You can't grow a beard. No, I can grow a beard. I just and you not just to. want it. You just choose not to. I choose not to. And that's what he's going with publicly, folks. He has a disease. It's called toddlerism. He, he, no, look at him. He's like a really grown-up toddler. Yeah, I am. Like three or four, and his body said good enough. Like, I'm like ben, I'm Benjamin Button. I'm Benjamin Button, but I'm stuck at a certain age. I, I think this entire uh, uh, episode of this show so will only be worth it if we get you to not put your phone on the floor <laughs> of the toilet. All jokes aside, all kidding aside, you know stop doing that. I believe that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I welcome the bacteria of strangers in a public bathroom. Well, then, then you know what? There are probably easier ways to get it then. <laughs> yes, there are. Yeah. If that's what you're going for. Yeah. Yeah. This is, all right. Brian Park, by the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Rob Long, Joe Maggie, Cat, Kyle, Studio Audience, I'm Craig Gutfeld.